Welcome to Julie the Thrifty Designer. Today, I thought I'd show you how I'm doing half of my front porch, setting it up and getting it ready for spring and summer, and how pretty we can make it. I don't know if you can see anything over my sneak peek over my shoulders. Ah, maybe a smidgen. <laughs> Stay tuned. Well, I'm going to show you my before on my front porch. How, uh, well, all winter has taken its toll. <laughs> I haven't come out here and done a thing to make it look nice. So I'm showing you the before. I still have the dried grass that I'd put in there in the fall just to kind of be a filler behind the fall flowers and stuff and you know it just needs to be cleaned up and we're trying to kill off some weeds in my front yard garden here actually it's a lot of grass we've mowed them down and what we're going to do is get some black plastic and lay it on top of all the areas that the grass is growing and we're going to try to see if we can kill off the grass that has creeped into my garden like i said for several years now i just haven't had it in me to garden and boy the grass came in here and just took over so we're working on this this hasn't we just started working on it so this is something we got to work on still so we have a lot of projects around this house that we just haven't done and uh, so here is my before and we'll see what we can come up with to make this half of my front porch look good. Okay, I'm gonna show you the area where, now I've cleaned it up, swept the floors. Now I did change out my flower arrangement here, and that is a geranium from uh, Hobby Lobbies. They're open now, and they're half price this week on their flowers. So that was a 10.99, or 10.99, yeah, 10.99 bush, and I got it for what, 5.50. And then I have some more of those Dollar Tree greenery, from, I'm not Dollar Tree, sorry, uh, Walmart greenery that I put around it just to add more greenery to give it some fullness and look really nice. And then again, also right here in my pot, I have put one of those geraniums also. And then over here, this always is here. I moved it up to there from down lower. And I just added some of color that I think really pretty. So we'll show you the next step. Okay. From this angle, it's harder. I have to bend down like this. But what I did was just simply made some flowers of those different ones and put them in a vase underneath the table. Okay, and then I have found this beautiful plaque at Hobby Lobby's. It's a beautiful scripture of Jeremiah 29 11. And I just went down into my basement, into my uh, boutique, and I found this nice wooden stand. And I just simply put it on it and let it sit. And that looks very pretty, but it kind of feels like it needs something right here. Okay, what I did was went and got one of those red holders, and I just got a regular candle in it till I can think to go get some citronella candle. I forgot to even look for one. So I made that little trio. Doesn't that look pretty on the coffee table? And I do have smokers in my family, so I just have some old pottery that my kids made. And actually, my, my daughter made it, and she's the smoker. So we're using her pottery for them to use for their cigarettes if they wish to use it when they can come over, which they haven't been here for a while, obviously. But isn't that a pretty setting on that table? Okay, next I went to Walmart, and I bought their $5 patio pillow. Isn't that very pretty? And... I also got one for over on this side. 
I think it looks very pretty. It balances out the front porch. And from the street, doesn't that look pretty? You've got some color pillows, some more color of the reds. And that, isn't that pretty? It's simple, elegant, and looks nice. Now, I've only done half of my front porch. I have another half on down <laughs> that I need to work on, but I haven't had a chance to, so I just thought I'd show you this half, and then we'll work on that half on another video. So I think it looks pretty nice. I hope that helped you to get some nice little ideas on what to do on your front porch you know I mean to see something pretty that you can do now I personally like red for my outdoor decorating but I also like purple and pinks as well this year I decided I wanted to go for the reds and a little bit of pink and our purple anyway here and there anyway I hope this has been something that'll help you to get an idea just clean it up and just add something simple as these and so I just want to say thank you to all of you for watching my video and you all take care and God bless and happy decorating <laughs>